What's up everyone, my name's Hakun. Welcome y'all to a new Blue Lock Project World Champion video. I have been waiting to say that for a proper while now. First of all, sorry for not posting in a bit. At least not posting Blue Lock How to Trains. I have been absolutely swamped with university work. During my time of absence, I'm gonna call it. I wrote three term papers, each of about 13 pages. I was stacked to the brim, caught an illness here and there, was still recovering from my broken finger after all. It was a lot of shit that was going on in the previous month and I apologize for not being able to upload as frequently or be as active as I would like to be. The term papers are now out of the way, which means the path is free for me to start recording again for me to do more videos and for me to help y'all with how to train certain characters. As you can already see, today's subject is from a king to a villain, Shoei Baro. This is the second Baro we received in the game, the newer one, the obviously better one. Okay, let's go over him you can already see from the stat spread how he was trained mainly slapping everything we can into kick power technical is a nice side effect now first of all with the comp one little issue that i have with the comp personally is that this borrow barely has any stamina stamina is a really important stat since having a high stamina reduces the stat decrease as the match goes on like if a, as long as a match progresses your players get more and more fatigued and their stats get progressively worse having high stamina prevents that so stamina is a very important stat and when building shoei Baru, you might want to pay a little bit more attention to that than i did but i've just not been getting any exercise machine cards that were really worth taking during the run as you will be able to see since this is the part one and the part two of this series is the actual training run which will be uploaded at the same time as this video is coming online so after this video if you want to see how this run went how and what i did to get this show i borrow feel free to check out the training run video right after all right um let's go over a few important skills first of all an important skill for not whales for like dolphins or free to play players is the unbelievable it's a really cool skill since when it's activated if the stats of your units are much lower than the ones of the opponent your player gets a boost in all of their stats that's pretty nice for obvious reasons, especially when battling whales, since this borrow is a ground shooter and goes well with the 3 one, one strategy that I'm sure most of you guys know. Not that I use it myself, but it's a solid strategy. We've also got an Ace's Awakening, which if the player taking a shot has the highest kick power on the team, it boosts the shot success rate, which means with Bauer as a ground shooter, if he's the high best shooter on your team and he takes a shot, there's a higher chance of it just going in, of it not being blocked, etc, etc. Especially in combination with the Unbelievable, this can make for a very deadly uh, ground shot combo even for free to play players. Now ever one skill that I would have liked to get in there but didn't quite get is Demon of Shots, the white skill. Or Fierce Demon of Shots if you absolutely want the golden skill. Uh, which increases the shot range of your player, enabling him to shoot from further. However, the shot range, as you can see, of Baro is already mid. So I'm pretty happy with that because it is higher than normal, which is the other one that we commonly see. Alright, now let's go over the team I used. Let's switch over the scene for that. To the actual comms. Obviously trained and saved blue lock because who the fuck uses the beginning the striker seriously. 
And this is the comp that I went with. Now keep in mind, um, the first thing you have to choose is friend supports. But I'm gonna go on the, about the level 100 comp a little bit later. This is just so you know what I used during the run the, about this was the comp that I used. It doesn't matter who you place where. I'm gonna go about why I chose those people later on. But now let's look at level 50. And I'm actually gonna prepare the level 50 comp with you as we speak. Now the most important part of a level 50 comp Sorry, Ron, I'm gonna have to remove your slot for this. Um, never mind, I do have a level 50 slot, but someone moved it around. Um, this is embarrassing. I hope Ron doesn't see this video. If you do, uh, you saw nothing. All right, let's go over level 50 then. As I said, the most important part of a comp is the friend support slot. Now, as a friend support, you want the best kick supporter in the game, since usually your other supports aren't that great going on from level 50 or 65. And that role in the current game is no other than Shido Ryusei. He's got the plat card, which is a black red card that also has two stages of extra bonus attached to it no matter what. He has a 70% lecture bonus. He has a lecture rate, a special training rate, and a practice match bonus together with a training kick boost power up of 30% and he just provides three really nice shooting cards as well as the gold skill and aces awakening that I talked about earlier on. Also a skill drop by his tiles is shot adept which decreases the shot block rate for shots by the player with this skill upon activation which is really nice okay so she does the friend support we choose he's the best kick support in the game no doubt about it now let's look at who else we back shido up with now one of the more known kick supports is kunigami overall and especially aerial battle Renske kunigami on level 50 might be your man he has the training kick power boost up and on level 50 he already has the special training rate up, a special lecture bonus even if it's not that high. On level 50 it's much better than nothing. And on level 60 he already gains a practice match bonus which is really good in making the most out of the revenue matches or the 5 default matches that come with every single run. He also has a golden blue lockman shop practice talent if you have leveled him to level 65 just as i have on my account you even get the black blue lockman shop practice tile which essentially makes him a really good support for kick comps as well and a set part of this comp now there's obviously one player we cannot go over with and that is roulette volley seishiro nagi if you absolutely wanted to, you could also argue for Dynamic Trapper Seishiro Nagi since he has a lecture rate early on mixed with two nice green tiles. But in this case, if all, if all you have is actually level 50, I would go with Roulette Volley Seishiro Nagi because while he also has a blue tile that is just double the stats of a gold tile without requiring more condition he gives the demon of shot skill that i was sadly unable to get in the borrow run myself and he also gives the gold stat the unbelievable which is just as i've said before amazing as a not whale player so oh going over his training abilities he boosts speed and kick obviously and comes with a special training rate up on level 50 his level 60 ability is only skill level up, which isn't so great, but having a higher level Demon of Shot skills will be better than nothing after all. The black tile he unlocks is the Ultra Shuttle Run. Black tile. And yeah, actually his kick tiles also give the formula for gold skill, which is essentially Shido's golden skill, but just in white. If 
the unit shooting has the highest kick power on the team. It boosts the shot success rate. So Roulette Volley Seishiro Nagi is a great pick. If you don't have Seishiro Nagi Roulette Volley that high, you can take a look at Dynamic Trapper. Since it's level 6, the ability is Special Training Rate Up, which mixed together with Lecture Rate Up, two red uh, green tiles and a black tile is definitely not bad. Natural Born Striker is not that bad as well. Uh, it essentially boosts all of the player's important stats after receiving a pass, but it only applies if the player you have this skill on is in the forward position in your team. And I mean, it can be really good, especially it might be the better skill for Wales. But I think talking about level 50 comp, I would rather go with the unbelievable here. All right, now that said, let's look at the next member of the comp. And that in this case is going to be Itoshi Rin, decisive moment Itoshi Rin. Now, why Rin out of all people? Firstly, he received a blue blue Lockman shot practice card just recently in one of the newer updates and he has special lecture bonus early on together with a nice training kick power boost up. Since this Rin actually boosts kick power more than he boosts intelligence as a stat. His level 60 ability really isn't great with the event stat boost up. But as long as you have him on level 65 to unlock the black blue lockman short practice tile as well. It can go really well together with this training kick boost. And on level 50 he will still be a very nice addition to the team. He sadly falls off later since the only good skill he gets later on is training bonus. And he doesn't have any black red tiles which at this point in the game are kind of a must for a level 100 comp. But since we're not talking about level 100 comp, we can just not give a fuck. Now for the last slot, the, it gets a little bit more difficult. There's a few options to choose from here. And one of the options would be RU, although I personally would not use RU even if it meant killing me, but he does boost kick, so if you're desperate or out of options, you can use RU, I guess. Who you should rather use instead is Pablo Cabasos. He's in a similar situation as Rin, just that he boosts technical more than he boosts kick, which isn't half bad though, since Baro uh, from villain to a ki uh, from king to a villain also has some intelligence and technical buffs in their growth rates. He also gets special lecture bonus early on. He gets dribbling training, special training occurrence rate, which is not optimal for shooting comps, but it's good to have regardless. And on level 60, he also gets a nice practice match bonus to get you a few more stats out of those default matches as well. If you have him on level 65, just like this account does, he can be a great addition with his two shooting tiles, especially if you have the correct gear to cover for lecture rate and spawn rate of tiles. He's a really solid asset and the striker gold skill can be pretty good because uh, the striker skill can be pretty good because if you do score a goal with your player, which is essentially your goal with Baro, he's a forward, he's supposed to score goals. It boosts all of their stats for the rest of the match which definitely doesn't sound that bad. And other than Pablo, who I'm gonna put in right now, there's one more option that I would consider, which is Gagamaru. He does boost kick power more than he boosts physical and he does come with a training bonus, which is pretty nice as well. It's not as good as Pablo's passives, I'd say, but a training bonus can be really helpful, especially with those cards from Shido, if he's on there, he will do his thing quite well. His level 60 passive is also skill level up, which really isn't that great. And he gets an exercise machine card, which also is far from optimal, but at least it might help to get some stamina, I suppose. But overall, I would personally pick Pablo here 
but Gagamaru is a solid option for that slot as well. Now, if you're desperate, desperate, and don't really want to use Ryu, honestly, I don't know what else you can do. You're kind of finished at that point. But technically, if your V1 Nagi is a bit higher, you can go for him because of the Blue Lockman Shop Practice card. However, this is by far the worst Nagi to train Baro. So if you want to put Nagi in there, use Dynamic Trapper or Roulette Volley. Alright, that's it for the characters in this comp. Now let's look at support cards. And one support card definitely comes to mind when talking shot power, which is one of the more recent ones. These guys are strong. It boosts speed and kick power. And if you have it on level 50, although the passives aren't that great, it's special ability granting the special rest or having a chance to grant a special rest once that sends you into awakening when the rest normally wouldn't can be pretty nice. It does boost kick after all, but preferably you would want that card to be on level 60 or above to unlock the lecture rate passive. Other cards that are really good to use of course are Kunisagi who with the lecture rate up special lecture bonus and on level 60 even the special training rate up is really just a nice asset to have and awakening begins is the name well the more you know not like i'm ever going to use the name anyways but yeah it's still a great card for any kick characters especially in the early levels since a lot of new cards tend to just be shit on level 50 and good later on Another card I would advise you to pick here is So Half-Baked. Why that card you may ask? Firstly, its special ability grants you up to 3 extra turns upon receiving the golden skill. It boosts technical and kick power and while also the passives on level 50 are really mid, the tiles are better than nothing to be honest. He's co it's coming with 2 tiles. Dribbling Training and Blue Lockman Shot Practice both on red. It also gives the Demon of Shot skill and the Striker skill. The Dribble skill gets... Uh, the Dribble tile gives the Trap Master skill, which, if you're using the passing strategy, can be nice to get a little extra buff on all of your stats. So yeah, it's a solid card regardless, even though the abilities of itself aren't good. But the turn extension is really what comes in here. And if you have good enough gear, especially special practice rate and lecture rate, which are by far the most important passives, I don't think you'll struggle picking this card. Now for the last one, this is a bit of a difficult pick. I'm gonna say... <sighs> Sorry, little yawn there. Since there's a lot of cards that can be used here. If you, if all you care about is extra days, you can go with the truth behind blue lock, even though it doesn't fit Bauer at all. As I've already mentioned, these guys are strong is a valid pick as well. Though you'll just like so half baked, you will need enough lecture rate and special practice rate from your workout gear to get it to work properly. And another option, if you don't have any of those, is battlefield. It comes with special lecture bonus and practice match bonus on level 50 already. Has the kick power boost up. Its special ability allows you to get a whole lot of stats from dialogues, which isn't as good as extra turns or awakening, but it's better than no special ability in the end. It also comes with demon of shots, shot adept, fantasista and sturdy for the droppable gold skills from the tiles. And the golden skill it drops itself is fierce demon of shots which is demon of shots but as a gold skill which is a really nice addition so if i had to replace any of those cards here it would probably be either so half baked or these guys are strong at level 50. if you don't have battlefield or any of those three cards you can technically use one-on-one -on -one as well but it's really not 
that great of card so i would prefer not doing that same for easy to see on level 50 it's just really ass even worse than these two cards and it doesn't come with a no noticeably worth special ability so we're gonna keep that away from now this is the level 50 comp i'd go with and now let's take a look at what's good for the whales going over to the level 100 comp i've put pablo as the friend support for the sole reason of pablo not being level 100 in this account the order does not matter at all and you can see quite some changes rin has been replaced and instead there's gagamaru now now before i go over the other units that were already in the level 50 comp why has gagamaru replaced rin let's take a look at rin he only gets a practice bon training bonus later on so his only good passives are training bonus and his little bit of special lecture bonus which at level 100 is only 25 percent that isn't a lot and in addition to that while well, he does have four tiles it's all just the default ones i'm gonna call them black blue and gold taking a look at gagamaru on the other hand level 100 unlocks his black red blue lock man shot practice stat which is really nice to have obviously he boosts kick power just the same he also comes with a training bonus, although a little bit worse than Rin's. And his level 100 ability is special training rate up and lecture rate up. Which means he will be able not only to produce better cards than Rin, but also just through the training bonus and the base stats of those cards, mixed with you having a lot of other lecture bonus players in there like Pablo who has a small lecture bonus, Shido who has a lecture bonus, Kunigami who has a lecture bonus and Nagi who has a lecture bonus. You'll be able to get those cards pretty high regardless. Now looking at the SSR this is a bit of a difficult choice because now you can see I've placed the truth behind blue lock in here which wasn't there before. Uh, the option I was deciding between was again Battlefield or easy to see at level 100 would be worth a mention since it does have special lecture bonus and a training bonus. So easy to see can be made an argument here. Same goes for I'll take you to an exciting life although it's less promising in my opinion. I've decided to go with the truth behind Blue Lock because his dialogue at 5-3 gives you a choice. You either get 3 extra turns or you get Awakening. And not only that, but he also comes with a 70% special lecture bonus and a Platinum card as well as a Black Purple card. So even while Intelligence or Physical aren't the stats that you are really looking for, if you get the correct people on them, you can still produce a card that has three or four thousand base value in the respective stats. And let's be honest, why would you not take a tile that has two stages of extra bonus guaranteed and gives you four thousand in base stats? There's no reason not to, so we're going in a bit of a gamble with this one. If you don't want to use the truth behind blue lock or if you don't have it on level 100, you can use Kunisagi, Battlefield or easy to see as I've already mentioned. As for the others, these guys are strong, has the special rest which is nice. It gets lecture rate on level 60 and special training rate up at level 80 and also 100 of course as well as coming with a black red blockman short practice tile. Which you'll notice cuts through the entire comp. As for so half backed, I've talked about the special ability. He boosts kick and it also comes with special training rate up and lecture rate up. And I honestly, I like the black green dribbling card. It can be really useful when you're in best and you want to just get back to extreme. Although honestly, awakening of course is always better than extreme. It's still a solid tile to have 
But if I would replace any of those three, I would probably replace So Half Baked. Since the truth behind blue lock is really just a great card even if it doesn't actively boost the stat you are looking for. It has a bit of the similar role that Raichi used to have in comps at the start of the game. Now going over the player Kunigami speaks for itself. All of his good passives stay there and he gets another training kick power boost up raising his boost to 40% instead of just 20 or 30 like other characters he has a red black exercise machine card red black tiles are always nice you can get some stamina out of it amazing and also dynamic boosts kick and physical of a player with that skill so why not comes with a black blue lock man shop practice tile as we know gallant his gold skill is not the best for a shooter but I mean, it's still a golden skill. You can't really go wrong with any of those. Of course, there's better ones. As I said, Fierce Demon of Shots would be great to have. So that's the argument made for Battlefield over Half-Baked. I'm gonna put it in just for the sake of it. Nagi gets a Black Red Blue Lockman Shot Practice card and on level 80 unlocks his Training Bonus and Special Lecture Bonus. And while his Lecture Bonus isn't that high, it's still there and mixed with his other passives and his tiles plus his skills that I've talked about as well he's just a great addition Shido is Shido I've named him as the best kick support in the game and I do stand by that he is there's no way around it I don't care what any of you say is it's true Gagamaro I've talked about and Pablo's there mainly for his extra turns that he can give with the dribbling training tile boosting cake providing a bit of everything and his 20% training bonus since honestly who else is there to boost cake there's no one much really so might as well get a utility player in alternatively if you want you can pick Rayo because of his 120% special lecture bonus but I've chosen Pablo because he does boost cake as a secondary stat and has some kick tiles so why not and uh, that is going to conclude the video thank you everyone for watching i hope you enjoyed feel free to leave a like and or subscribe if you want to see more blue lock project world champion how to trains or feel free to leave a comment down below who you want me to put in a video who you want me to show you how to train thank you everyone for watching and i hope I'll see you again in the very next video. Feel free to check out the part where I do a training run with the comp that I showed in this video. And bye.